Hi guys, it's Summers here and welcome to another episode of my FIFA 2019 career mode series with Aston Villa. And the first game of the episode is at Villa Park against Charlton Athletic in the Emirates FA Cup. Here's our team lineman up for the game. We've got Robert Horn in goal, James Bree at the right at right back, and Pardew and House in the centre back positions, Wagner Man at left back, Shaparenko, Maitland Niles and Dozzle in midfield. In this episode, we are going to have to split things down a little bit as we've got a packed schedule in January. We, we've moved into January now and obviously we've got the transfer deadline day at the end of that. So this episode will feature three games as Smith Rowe there gets away a shot having worked himself some space. And uh, yeah, the, this, this episode is really packed full of games. So Smith Rowe on the ball here, knocks it inside. Uh, Keeper manages to get there ahead of the, the striker. Shaparenko there holding holding the play off. Out to Dozel who knocks it back inside to Shaparenko. Shaparenko with the three ball to Weyer. And he's been adjudged offside. So look at the replay here. Come on FIFA, sort this out. This is a, again another issue I've got with FIFA. Look at the feet placement of Weyer and the player down here at the far end of the pitch, number 15. Is that because his, his foot's not touching the, the floor? Is that why the white line's going off of his other foot? I'm not convinced that Weyer is offside there. And I don't know how and why FIFA are, have got that happening the way they have. But there we go. We won't get that one anyway. So, ball into Smith Rowe here. He cuts back inside, knocks it onto Weyer, and Weyer scores for Villa. Great goal there at the near post as uh, Smith Rowe opened up some space and knocked it into him down the channel. It's a great little through ball there from Smith Rowe, and Weyer just hits it first time, left peg. Keeper can't get to it. It's his first goal in the FA Cup for Timothy Weyer. And it's a 1-0 victory there against Charlton in this first game of the episode, so not a bad way to kick things off. Smith Rowe getting man of the match and accumulating seven points in that episode. Both Sheparanko and Weyer got four. So we move out to a bit of training here. We're picking up from the last episode where Jack Grealish was player of the episode alongside uh, Elmer Hamadi. So we're going to give the first three slots here to Jack Grealish as he can obviously grow the most out of the pair of them. And then the following two will be Elmer Hamadi. As we can see, he's already losing percentages over this season because of his age. He's starting to deteriorate, unfortunately. He's been a fantastic player for us. Let's move out to some transfer action. As I mentioned, we're into January and we've got another offer in for James Bree and this time it is from Barcelona. And yet again, we're going to reject that. Uh, Neil Taylor, the, the Welsh left-back, we're going to negotiate this because although he has been part of the lineup, uh, he, he's just a fringe player and obviously we, we do need to put some money on the board. So I tried to get a little bit more out of the deal there and we've got £1,050,000 with an 8% sell-on clause. We're going to delete the sell-on clause and try and get some extra money in the bank because he's, he's not likely to be sold again. So there we go, deal done. £1.25 for Taylor as we move out to the second game of the episode and it's yet another game against Arsenal. This time we're at Villa Park. Hopefully we can uh, do, do better against the Gunners this time around. Horns in goal, El Mohamedy at right back, Oxford, Zagadou centre back, Henry out left, Maitland Niles, Burge and McGinn are playing in the centre with Nelson, Weyer and Smith Rowe up front. Dicko, Grealish, Dozzle, Green, Tavernier, Kingsley and Pugh are all on the bench. Okay, Arsenal straight on into the action here. A very poor clearance. And now Abamyang's managed to score with 12 minutes on the clock. That could make life rather difficult in a game against Arsenal, to be honest, because they are a class above us. There's no two ways about that. 
some shock in defending that, to be perfectly honest. And that, that's another thing that I find a little strange with the way FIFA is this year. Now, this ball out to, to the players, just totally wrong. He wasn't passing there at all, but it's gone there, it's gone straight to the opposition. He's made a nice passing field to Aubameyang, who's found some, some space, and, and there we go, goal. Nelson out here on the right hand side, throwing it into the box, and there's Timothy Ware again at the near post. Smashing one home. Gets it on the volley. So, ex Arsenal player there, Nelson, setting up Timothy Ware. We've got all the ex Arsenal players that we've signed here playing against Arsenal in this game, just to rub their noses in it. We've got Nelson on the right wing, who's crossed that in there. Now, uh, Smith Rowe out on the left hand wing, and Maitland Niles is playing in the centre. Great volley there from uh, Timothy Ware, getting between the defender and a heading of the goalkeeper. Out onto the action here. 32 minutes in, and Arsenal have got the ball out here on the left hand side. They're playing it around my players, I just can't get hold of the ball, and we know what's coming, don't we? Yes, a good shot there, but Horns managed to get down to it. Again, 37 minutes in, and we're experiencing a very similar situation, and it's Matty Cash. That pass from Obama Yang as he's on the floor. I mean, come on, seriously, he, he's, he's, how did he get hold of the ball, firstly, and secondly, how did he make the pass so accurate that Cash can just run onto it and smash it home? Yeah, again, I'm, I'm a bit unsure how we, we uh, see that kind of scenario with, with FIFA 19, as Maitland Niles smashes one there and Leno has to push it round the post. Would have been a top corner finish that one. A strong hand now from Leno as we get a corner from that situation. Going to knock it in near post. And Timothy Ware's there again at the near post this time with the header. So back to two all before the whistle's blown for half time. And we're doing okay here for a, for a change against Arsenal. It's not a back to the wall job like it usually is. We're actually scoring some goals as well. It's a fantastic header as he got there ahead of Leno who tried to come out to, to gather it or punch it away and just couldn't get to it before Weyer. Into the second half and a lovely love through ball there to Smith Rowe. What's he going to do? He knocks it inside and Weyer. Oh, I should have hit it first time. Should have hit that first time. And we move out to 76 minutes. Arsenal knocking the ball around again and they've managed to get inside into the box. And it's Lacazette who's not long been on the pitch who gets that goal. Took off Aubameyang and the ball on Lacazette and gave him enough time and space in the box there to, to finish it. 3-2 down now. It's a nice through ball, but where was our defender going? He just drifted away from Lacazette. Watch this. What the hell is that about? No pressure on him whatsoever. Both central defenders just moved away. 82nd minute and Arsenal once again pushing the ball around in a way that makes it difficult to get hold of. Knocking it around again on the edge of the box. Can't get anywhere near them. And... Defenders have gone AWOL again in the box. Just opened up the space for Lacazette there to put it home. 90th minute, can we get a consolation goal? Way here on the wing, knocks it inside. Dicko with the diving header. Great cross, great finish from the pair of strikers. I can't see us getting another goal with only a minute left on the clock of added time, but at least we've got the consolation goal and at least we're scoring because that's been one of our biggest issues in, in FIFA 19 so far. He's, he's getting goals. Leno got his hand to it, but it wasn't enough to turn it away. Good finish by Dicko. 
So we lost 4-3 there, but I'm, I'm quite pleased in, in a way because we've scored three goals, which is something that we, we you know, we're struggling to score. We've been, we have been struggling to score goals, should I say? Um, t you know, getting three in a game is quite an achievement, even though we've obviously let four in. We've had to open ourselves up in this game. Ware got 12 points in that game, clearly because he scored two goals that, that had a massive bearing on on the way that was going. And then in this episode, in total, he now leads with 16 points. Smith Rowe is the only real challenger and he's down on eight points. So we move into a bit more training and we're going to change things up. Obviously, Grealish and El Mohamedi having the last training schedule. We're going to go back to training some more of the youngsters. So we've got Santoro, our cam, uh, from the Youth Academy, which he's come forward now into the main squad. We've got Ampadu, the centre back, we're going to try and train him up a little bit so that we can maybe get him to feature in some of the later games this season. Uh, Robert Horn has become our de facto number one goalkeeper, but we're still trying to train him up, trying to improve him and uh, improve him 340% so far this season, in fact. And the last training slot we are going to give to our other goalkeeper, Figueroa. Moving out to an offer, loan offer for Hans Holm. He is a player that we've just promoted to the, the main squad, he's got 64 overall, really needs to improve before he's obviously going to get into the main squad, so I'm quite happy to send him out on loan, but I'd like to, I always like to have short term loans rather than the year, year loans, then we don't have to worry about calling them back from the loan, and as you can see I'm just negotiating these loan scenarios, Santoro's the next one going out to Brighton and Hove Albion. Uh, the short term loans, I try to negotiate so that the, uh, the club taking them actually take on more of the role of the, the wages so try to get it down to 20-25% if at all possible and in, on this occasion we're going to have to accept at 30% but that's not, not too bad um, don't mind paying some of their wages at the end of the day as we move out to another offer for Hans Holm it seems to be quite popular I uh, don't know where he's actually going to end up but uh, numerous offers coming in for him I think he's certainly going to be a player for the future. As we get an offer in here for Reese Oxford, uh, 4.1 million. I'm going to reject that because I, I want to hold on to the player. Got need a few centre backs at this stage, and I'm still trying to figure out the best way of uh, where, how to make progression in that that area of the field. So we're playing Huddersfield in this game away from home, and we've got Horn in goal, El Mohamedi, Chester, Zagadou, and Henry at the, at the back. Grealish, Burge, and McGinn in midfield. Nelson, Weyer and Tavernier are up front as Huddersfield open up the action and the players manage to get free here in the box with only three minutes on the clock, we're already 1-0 down. Some shoddy defending at the back again. Our centre-backs keep getting pulled out of position quite frequently. I think we're going to have to have a look at uh, the tactics, uh, the instructions that those players have actually got to try to figure out why we're being dismantled so easily in the box. There's actually a couple of our centre mids in there as well and they've got destroyed, so that's not good. Weyer here on the ball, puts it through to McGinn and McGinn's found Tavernier, can he score? No, he's punted it on way too far. And he was offside in any case. Again, uh, FIFA, what's going on? Because I don't think he was offside. An amazing lob through ball there from Jack Grealish that Nelson's locked onto, cuts inside, is that a penalty? Yes it is, taken out Nelson there as he cut inside with the slide tackle, the defender, surely a booking as well. So yeah, Nelson had already hit the shot but we get the penalty nevertheless as Weyer steps up to take responsibility. Hits it down the left-hand side and sends the goalkeeper the wrong way. Great goal by Timothy Weyer. Back to one all. As the team celebrates around the player that's just got us back on level terms. Looks like a target there in the background, that scrolling truth over glory. There's a little... Look, they looks like they're the target that you're aiming for. <laughs> so 
So we move on into the action again here on the ball's got through to Grealish. And Grealish with a lovely through ball. Just as we were pulling the trigger, Wires brought down again inside the box. And I've got a feeling Zanka's going to get sent off here. Yep, he sees red. He was the last man. To be honest, he had to go. It was a good attempt to play the ball, but he did take Weir out. So it's only fair. And Weir's going to step up again with the responsibility of scoring another penalty. Again, he's going to go to the right this time. And the keeper doesn't make a move. It's 2 1 now to Villa. 34 minutes in. And they've got a player missing now. So hopefully we can press on and get a good result here. It's another good penalty. Second half kicking off. Jack Grealish on the ball out to Weyer. Weyer knocks it inside to Nelson who knocks it back to Grealish. Grealish knocks it on to McGinn and McGinn's found Grealish. Oh, he's hit the post. Oh, sharp effort there from Grealish. So, yeah, moving on out to 78th minute here and we can see Nick Huddersfield are knocking the ball around quite nicely. They haven't been able to make that extra man pay, if I'm honest. Uh, they've done an exceptional job of being able to keep me out. I uh, had a couple of chances, but nothing spectacular. And as we see, they've just struck one there. And we're, we're, we've hoofed it out because we just want to get the ball clear. Um, starting to put me under quite a bit of pressure, considering we're a man up. And there it is, the looping header from about 16 yards out. Not much you can do about that type of strike. Uh, very difficult to defend against because you just don't, can't get touch tight to the players. I think this will be one of our last chances of the game and Smith was that Tavernier there with the, with the header uh, it's a two all unfortunately uh, we didn't manage to maximise our opportunity there of having the extra man but it's another draw and in this battle for relegation I think that's going to count when we get to the end of the, end of the season so Weyer there really the only player that stood out in the game got an extra 10 points towards the player of the episode so that takes him now to 26 points he's got an ast astonishing lead over everybody else Smith Rowe the next player up with 8 Moving out to a bit of training and one of the players that we were training which was Lacroix has gone out on loan so we've got a spare slot which we're going to pop a Wagner man into and we're going to do the, uh, let's have a look what we could do, we're going to go for cross, uh, pass to the mini net, mini net and another offering for Hans Holm. Uh, he's definitely going to end up going somewhere uh, but which club will he end up at? Norwich it is that are in for him right now. Again, trying to negotiate uh, a deal in terms of the what we pay towards the the loan deal. So we're currently at 60-40. I'm going to counter that down to 25% at the moment, and they've accepted that. So we'll be paying 25% of his wage. So we've got our, an offer in here for Maitland Niles from Southampton of 11.3 million. Uh, that would be quite the bonus compared to what we paid for him, but I don't want to let the player go uh, at this stage, so we've rejected that. And we've got an offer in from Newcastle for Nyland, our goalkeeper. We've got plenty of goalkeepers in reserve from the youth squad, so I'm just trying to negotiate a deal here. 4.25 million with what looks like a rather strange looking Rafa Benitez. Uh, anyway, if you did enjoy the episode, don't forget to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel for more FIFA 2019 content. Don't forget that this is a two-part episode, so the next part will be coming up shortly.